Okay, let's just plot a few of these um, straight lines and do a few examples of them. So let's look at this one. Plot y equals 3x minus 3 and y equals a half minus a half x plus 4 and find their point of intersection. Well, I think I'll call that point P, the point of intersection we're having. We'll put it into this uh, when we find it. Okay, so let's plot this one first. y equals 3x minus 3. Look at the minus 3 first, that's the intercept on the y, so let me just put that one in there. And the gradient is 3, so it means every time we go along 1 on the x, we go up 3. So 1 along the x, up 3. There, go along a 1 again, up 3. That should be good enough. Let's pop that line in. label it. y equals 3x minus 3. And we'll do the second line now. y equals minus a half x plus 4. Okay, so the intercept is 4 in this case. So we'll pop that there. And it, this time when we go along x, we go minus a half on the y. So, right, along 1 on the x, down minus a half, long one again, down minus a half, so we're on that point again. Long one, down minus a half, long one, down minus a half. So as you see, if we go long two, we're going down one, so let's put that one down as well. And we'll plot that line. And label it y equals minus half x plus 4. And there's our intercept there, p. Um, and that is at the point x equals 2, y equals 3. So That's that done. Let's look at another one. Okay, we've got this second problem. Find the equation of a line passing through A, which is minus 4, minus 2, and B, which is 5, 1. Now, before we start, I'm going to label these. That is x1, x y2, y1 rather, and this is going to be x2, y2. Because I'm going to work it out all algebraically, and then we'll plot it and see that it conforms to the equation that we found. So the first thing we're going to find is the gradient m. And that's given by this. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We put the numbers in, so y2 is 1 and it's minus a minus 2 because that was y1 and it's going to be over x2 minus x1 well x2 is 5 minus minus 4 that equals well 1 minus a minus 2 is 3 and 5 minus a minus 4 well that's a plus 4 so 5 plus 4 is 9 so our gradient m is a third. Just cancelling that down. Then what you do, you've got the gradient m, which we could pop into this equation. And if we pick one of the points, pick uh, this point here, I'll put the value of y in is 1, and the value of x in is 5, and we'll see what we get. Uh, basically, it leaves c on its own, and we'll be able to work out what c is. So the y value. 1 equals, well the gradient is m, the third driver, times 5 plus c. Well that's 5 thirds. So what we can do is we can say move this lot here to the other side. 1 minus 5 thirds equals c. 
Well, one on its own is three thirds, so three thirds minus five thirds. That's going to be minus two thirds. So our equation then is y equals one third x minus two thirds. And let's plot this using these points here and see if it conforms to this equation. So we'll plot this point first, A. Well, that's minus 4, minus 2. So minus 4, minus 2. It's there. And this point here, 5, 1, 5, 1. There we go. Put the line in. So that's that line there. And let's see if it works, the gradient, a third. So when we go along x, we go up a third. Along the number x, up a third. Along the number x, up a third. Or another way of looking at it is, when we go along 3, we go up 1. The 3 and the 1 there. That's that, so that works, the gradient's correct. And look at this intercept, minus 2 thirds. Well there we are minus two-thirds, that looks about right. So that's the equation of the line. And that's how you'd work out the equation of the line if you've got two points. And you might just be asked to do it algebraically without drawing anything. And the way you do it then is you find the gradient first, put everything into one of the points in this equation, and then you can work out what the intercept is. Okay, done. We'll do a couple more and uh, that'll be that. What is the equation of the line shown? This is a quite an easy one really, we just read it off. So we know it's going to be in the form y equals mx plus c. c is the intercept which we can read straight off. Well there we are, it's at minus 2. Let's put that in there. The gradient is when we go along 1, it's how far we go up. So we go along 1 on the x, we go up 1, 2. And that's that, so 2x. And that's it, simple as that. y equals 2x minus 2. Let's label it. And that's that one done. Okay, we've got this question here, the final one, for find the perpendicular line that passes through the midpoint of the line between A, minus 3, minus 3, and B, 5, 1. So first of all, we'll plot these two points and draw the line. So that one, minus 3, minus 3, that's there, and B is 5, 1, 5, 1. We'll put the line in. And of course, this was point A, this one is B. And then what we've got to do is find the midpoint. Well, if you look at the distance between A and B on the X, you've got three this side of the y-axis and 5 that. So it's a total of 8. 3 and 5. So halfway is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's the midpoint of this line, which is what we had to find, the midpoint. And then if we look at the gradient of this line, well, when we go along 2, we're going up 1. So actually it's a slope of a half. Okay, the gradient of this one is, this line here is a half x, so this line is y equals a half x and it passes through well if we look at there because it goes up a half we've got on one it's kind of 
so that point there is minus one and a half we just will go 1.5 1, 1 I think and that's that one there okay we've got to find the perpendicular that goes through this point here now the gradient of a perpendicular is given by gradient of perpendicular is minus 1 over m. Well there's our m there which is a half so 1 over it is turning the half upside down which will be 2 and then we minus it. So the gradient of the line is going to be minus 2. So it means when we go along 1 on the x it's going to come down 2. So that means we've got a point going through there. If we go along 1 on the x we go down 2. There's another point and we'll just do this one here. So we can draw that line as well. And we can say what that line is now. That is y equals, well it's minus 2x, and we can read off where it goes through there, and we can read that intercept off, which is plus 1. And that's our answer there. All done.